It is Dallas, right? It's Dallas. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, however, my reports go on all the NBC stations, but I'm based in Dallas. Well, I'm delighted in, for your interest, Thanks, madam. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Bob, it's nice to be sitting across from you because uh, here you are, the CEO of New Line, and uh, it isn't, it's rare, I should say, when we even meet the CEOs, much less get to interview them. So uh, thanks for making yourself available. It's a pleasure to talk to you, offer those kind words. Let's talk, first of all, about your participation on screen. As I was watching you, Bob, I thought, Here's one guy who didn't have to worry about being on the cutting room floor. I bet they, I bet they didn't cut a frame out of your scenes. Not a frame. Wait a second. I had to beg Wes to cut a couple scenes out because I, I didn't photograph that well. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Had you, but you had done that before. I had little cameos in some of our films just for, uh, you, you know, just for a goof. Um, and because when I was a kid, I wanted to be an actor, and so this is sort of like... Uh, sneaking in the back door of my fantasy world, but um, this was a, a, a little unsettling too, playing myself in a movie that wasn't so sure whether it was real or fantasy. It, 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 anyhow, I, I, got a, it was, I got a little spooked by it, I have to say. A little um, nervous and butterflies y and that sort of thing? Yeah, but it wasn't so much only because of, the, of being in front of a camera, it was because of the whole story as it unfolded about evil coming into the real world and, and, and how Wes has managed to turn this whole Elm Street uh, phenomena and, and, and saga once more on its, uh, on its ear and, and how I was a part of it. And, uh, and in fact, uh, Heather Langenkamp, who uh, is, you know, is, this, is the star of the film, along with Bob Englund, uh, was, was, was quite troubled by it and didn't, was afraid that too much of her personal life would, might get injected into the film. Uh, uh, it was eerie. I just, that's all I can tell you. I mean, I, I don't want to sound overly superstitious, but uh, it, we, we, we got a tingle. I still do when I see the film. What, had the Turner merger already begun uh, by the time you were doing this film? Uh, yeah, with the film, was, it was almost over by that point. Okay. So. How does this budget compare with the, some of the earlier nightmares? Well, to give you a kind of perspective, the first nightmare's budget was, I think, a million one hundred thousand dollars, and this one is about twelve million. So, it, there's inflation plus some added goodies for some of the people who are responsible for the film, like Bob Englund and, and Wes Craven, and uh, some. They, they, we had to get some state-of-the-art special effects in there to keep the audiences jumping and guessing, and also to bring the film up to a, a quality level that people are used to in this day and age. Uh, but uh, we have our fingers crossed and uh, hope that, that the budget will justify the business that we're looking for. Twelve million, though, is really a very low-budget film by today's standards when the average is, what, 20 to 30 million? Yeah, it's correct. It's, uh, I mean, our, our specialty has been keeping budgets more in line and dealing more with storylines than just throwing uh, money at, uh, at the catering, for instance. But. Um, uh, I mean, twelve million is twelve million, and we'll, we'll probably, ironically, we'll probably end up spending about another twelve to fifteen million to market the movie. So it, it becomes an investment. You're now, you have, I should say, uh, New Line has crossed over into big bucks. In other words, four million dollars for a screenplay sets a record, doesn't it? Yeah, it was three and a half million for the screenplay and five hundred thousand for the writer to be a producer. But I guess you could you could put it all in one pot, so it was four million. Uh, my only response to that is that a screenplay is such an important element for a film, and in this case, we had uh, a terrific star, Gina Davis, playing the lead, and a terrific director, Rennie Harlan, who was the director of the most successful of the Elm Street series so far, uh, pl directing and a script that was just action-packed and full of fun and, and, and a very, very popular piece, and pr promised to be very popular, that uh, to, well, we had two major studios competing with us, Warner Brothers and, uh, and Paramount, um, that uh, to spend an extra $500,000 and to get the material and to go on and make the film is, uh, we thought was a, was a prudent approach to our business. So we took it.
So New Line is really on a whole new tack now. No, this is just an adjunct. This is, a, this is an additional line of product for us. Uh, we're making two or three larger budget pictures now, uh, which where we didn't have the wherewithal to do uh, several years ago. But we're still making the six and seven million dollar genre movies. We're still making 12 to 14 million dollar mid-size movies. And uh, it, it just adds to our, our, uh, our slate for the year. Well, Bob, again, thanks for making yourself available, and I wish all of you the very best with the new nightmare. Thank you. And uh, it, it certainly delivers everything, chills, spills, special effects. I'd love to hear you say that, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Bob. Bye. <clears throat>
And in this case, we had uh, a terrific star, Gina Davis, playing the lead, and a terrific director, Rennie Harlan, who was the director of the most successful of the Elm Street series so far, uh, directing. And a script that was just action-packed and full of fun and, and, and a very, very popular piece, and pro promised to be very popular, that uh, to, well, we had two major studios competing with this, Warner Brothers and, uh, and Paramount. Um, that uh, to spend an extra five hundred thousand dollars and to get the material and to go on and make the film is uh, we thought was a was a prudent approach to our business, so we took it. So New Line is really on a whole new tack now. No, this is just an adjunct. This is a, this is an additional line of product for us. Uh, we're making two or three larger budget pictures now, uh, which where we didn't have the wherewithal to do uh, several years ago. But we're still making the six and seven million dollar genre movies. We're still making twelve to fourteen million dollar mid-size movies, and uh, it, it just adds to our, our, uh, our slate for the year. Well, Bob, again, thanks for making yourself available, and I wish all of you the very best with the new nightmare. Thank you. And uh, it, it certainly delivers everything, chills, spills, special effects. I'd love to hear you say that, Bobby. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Bye. <coughs>